Hey, good morning, family. Um, <clears throat> I just, I felt, I felt moved to just, I, I want to, I want to say some words. I own the gym at this hour. I know I'm here. This beautiful gym. Jessica, I'm very sorry I'm not going to attend your wedding. Um, I feel that's best for everyone and that's a man needs to make a decision that's in everyone's best interest and I'm hated there so I love you and I want to be there with my whole heart but that's that's just not in the cards Jesse so I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna send a nice gift don't listen to your mother about sending it back and me or my my mother about manipulating something with money because fuck that um, I wish I could be there but I can't um, yeah, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it short. There's spiritual warfare going on in our family and it's deep. The enemy, Satan himself, seeks only, only to destroy families. That's his primary interest. The family, the family love is the backbone, is the backbone of everything. And he seeks to destroy it and he works in very, very mysterious, mysterious ways. Having my sister hate me like she does, like when I got that donut after a 28 mile bike ride yesterday and they gave me a black custard filled donut with two donut holes and I immediately thought cock and balls. <laughs> I posted that on Facebook and my sister, Jennifer, like, you're a jerk. And everyone else in the world thinks that's funny and immature and just fucking comedy and that's my nature so is it any coincidence that the music is in the background Eminem can you hear it so if you look for the negative in anything in life Jesse you will find it if you look for the positive and the love you will find it the choice is literally yours. It's the situation that's in front of you or the person that's in front of you. You can find negative in everything, in every situation. And you can find positive in everything, in every situation. One of them is going to make you live long and prosper and be healthy and happy. The other one's going to make you smoke a cigarette on the back patio. And fucking that son of a bitch, Jason. I'm getting baptized by one of the... One of the Literally, I'm getting baptized today by one of the world leaders in religion and influence and power and love. And he's amazing. And the connection to him came by divine power. When I bought this condo in record time, breaking a forever record of closing in, in six days, it brought some attention to me. And they're like, this fucking guy is amazing. Like, they couldn't believe that I could do that. And I'm, and that's just what I do. And, and, and that brought a connection to Joel Osteen. Because I was wearing a Lakewood Church shirt one day. And um, now he's baptizing me today. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't break my heart. It doesn't break my heart anymore that, that uh, the people in my family who are supposed to love me but don't um, won't be there. I, I, you would think, oh, it breaks my heart that my mother can't, is not going to be there and my sister. Oh, oh, no, you guys are blessings to me. I fucking reverse your negativity and hatred and I turn it into love and I bless others and I've accepted the fact that I have to release you from my life. And it's freedom, man. It's freedom. It's freedom. Freedom. I don't fucking care about you anymore. Your negativity and hatred and, and the people that you influenced to hate me, like my sister Jennifer influenced my nephew who I love and adore deeply. She got drunk one night and, and told me that I made, I made Mark hate you for three years. I'm sorry. No, well, she's gonna do it again, okay? That's what Satan does. That's Satan himself. Be big, be strong, be bold. You, you might just have to tell your mother to go fuck herself, like I did mine. She's supposed to nurture me and teach me about love and teach me about forgiveness. Nobody's perfect, I've screwed up. I, oh, and Jennifer said, 
I said something about Jessica's breasts? What the fuck are you talking about? Maybe a decade ago, I said, oh, Jessica's developing, matter of factly. Like the one time at Thanksgiving where Jennifer said I was sitting on the couch and Patty was sitting right next to her. And then I got home to Houston and my mother calls me and said, I can't believe you fondled Jennifer. You fondled Jennifer? You're sick. I fucking hate you. I'm like, what the? What in the actual fuck? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Once again, when you look for negativity, you will find negativity in any situation. When you look for positivity and love and kindness and the love of Jesus, you will find it in everything, everything. The crack in the sidewalk can be a crack in the sidewalk or it can be, look at that little flower blossoming from it. Fucking be that, be that little flower. Fuck the negativity of my family. Fuck the negativity of my family. Jesus, I pray that you just take hold of Jennifer's heart, of Sue's heart, and just reverse it. I know you can. It requires divine intervention. Nothing less. Jennifer won't even listen to a professional counselor that I've hired and said, that's one of your friends that you've manipulated. <sighs> no. It's a professional counselor that knows parental alienation. And a re she will not listen to a recording of Casey and my mother and me and the counselor in a professional counseling session where parental alienation done by Renee, you remember Aunt Renee, she won't listen to it because the parental alienation where one parent makes the kids hate the other parent is off the hook and obvious. She won't listen to it because she doesn't want to hear the truth. She's doing the same thing. She did the same thing. Your mother, Jennifer, did the same thing, Mark. Made you hate me. And then makes you say, I've made this decision myself. I can't believe you're even my uncle. That's, that's parental alienation. And, you, and Jennifer, I'm praying for you, man. I love you. And I can't wait that, until the time we are reunited. I really hope my sons would come, but you have to understand that Jennifer and my mother are, Renee's back in their life and you can't, I, you have to hate Jason to be in Renee's life. There's, you can't even think Jason's decent. You have to hate him and, and look at all of her friends. Don't underestimate the power of her and the evil within her. It's fucking compelling. It's amazing. It's interesting. It's a case study. It's a textbook in psychology. But I'm crazy. I'm drunk. Hey, I drank some wine last night. I'm at the gym while Jennifer smokes a cigarette and probably visits with Renee. Look how crazy he is. So I love you guys and I miss you and I'm sorry I can't be there, but it's in everyone's best interest. So take care.